my beautiful Aries friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, and we are here with a love reading for you. The overall energy, Aries, is beyond the ordinary. The relationship that you are involved in currently is an exceptional relationship. It also is with a person who really understands your viewpoint. Birds of a feather flock together. Um, it speaks as though there's a high level of compatibility and we see bearing fruit. The relationship is growing at this time. When we look at the recent past, the overall energy for the two of you is the lover's card and you are protected by Archangel Raphael. That is Gemini energy. You are with somebody that spirit feels that you should. You have some lessons to learn and some beautiful experiences to still waiting. So we get the death card in the recent past. You've gone through a transformation. It looks as though some of you may have been on the precipice of a breakup, a complete breakup or a rebirth. And that's how I'm seeing this energy. When we look at the 10 of coins as a clarifier, we see Virgo energy with working along with Scorpio energy to rebuild your relationship so that you can have a legacy relationship. That is a relationship that is, this is, a traditional marriage card it's a card that you know it's an energy that indicates that both of you want the same thing you're on the same page that both of you are willing to invest and do the work and that you've needed some sort of transformation in the relationship the current energy is a devil card so there is sort of a hindrance a difficulty a challenge that you're facing right now um, but when we see the devil, we see two people who are struggling to make things work. And the two of coins is you have two very different ideas about what that would be. Sometimes the energy between the two of you with that devil energy is Capricorn. The devil is in the details. You, you do, you're a lot alike. You have the same values. But how you get to where you want to go in terms of the relationship seems to be an area of discomfort for both of you. Uh, but, you know, the devil card, I will tell you, as a practice, practical matter and being a reader for over 37 years now the devil card is really all about trying to control things trying to have whatever you want and manage and control whatever it is that you feel is undesirable or something you want to control to make it more desirable it's an unhealthy energy though because you know at the end of the day you have to be on the same page the two of coins does say that you will both you know one of you might be juggling two people that's not going to be for everyone um, some of you may you know need to leave a different relationship or maybe you're even in the process of a divorce because a death card can mean divorce for one or you of you or both of you when we look at how your person views you they view you as a stone cold rock star baby that is a gorgeous card it's all about aquarius enlightenment uh, using your mind using your heart tapping into the best of what's inside of you but your person feels when they view the relationship they view things as being um difficult from a circumstantial standpoint they want you they desire you you are their wish fulfillment but your person thinks that there are things going on in their life challenges that they may not have told you about that are very much affecting and impacting their ability to come through for you Aries when we view when we look at the way your person views you they see you as someone who gives a lot you give a lot of yourself they also feel as though we have the devil energy twice that you're very opinionated about how things must be and that does create a lot of discomfort for both of you when we look at their what is in their heart space for you the ace of wands 
passionate desire for you. The judgment card, wanting to make things right, wanting to be able to release negativity, to release that which doesn't serve you into this very happy, beautiful relationship. Your person sees you as someone that they are going to fight for. The emperor is the absolute king of the kings, and that emperor has a big chess piece. That emperor wants to eat, drink, celebrate. They want to celebrate the friendship and the glory of this beautiful way that they see you as super talented, super bright, beautiful. But your person needs that sort of calm, um, more relaxing disposition, a little bit, a little bit more water. Here we see this Three of Cups. They want to be nurtured. They need to be nurtured from you. Uh, sorted to get the best out of them. It can be very traditional. You know, some people might not like that energy. But Aries, you know, you're very hands-on about making things right, making things good. So the other energies that we have is we have Scorpio, we have Virgo, we have Capricorn, we have Capricorn again, Aquarius, um, we have um, Aquarius energy again. The Six of Coins is Taurus. Again, we have Capricorn. The Ace of Wands is all fire sign energy. We have Sagittarius, Aries. Aries, here you are in your reading. Even though it appears to be your person instead of you, they're really mirroring your energy of wanting to have some real authority and their voice be heard in this deep level friendship that you share. Both of you are in this Capricorn energy with the Four of Swords, which is a healing energy of Libra finding balance, holding on to each other. Two fours actually lend a lot of stability to the relationship. When we look at what spirit is telling you, we see that both of you have felt overwhelmed. Both of you, you're a divine couple. The Empress card, the Emperor card. And spirit is saying that the two of you do not see this that the advice right now is to go back over here and heal this energy. The healing card of the star is also here. There have been words spoken that were very strenuous to the relationship. And so what we see is both of you being very possessive. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna crack up here. Very possessive of one another. Oh, you're very jealous, you're very territorial. This is your mutual hidden energy. And both of you have hurt one another's feelings also. So typically this happens when relationships have gone the distance. You've been together a while. You know, you're in this bearing fruit energy. So for those of you who are watching, you know, if you're in a new relationship and this resonates, we're talking about the future. For those of you who've been in this relationship, we see you letting go of resentments. The judgment is here twice. It's Scorpio energy and we are in Scorpio season. So it is a perfect time to let go of the past, to rebuild the future to create the Ten of Pentacles, to create that tremendous security and lifelong relationship, um, having a beautiful home, being comfortable financially, nice vacations, beautiful gifts at Christmas time, but a love that works hard for a win. You know, you both want this beautiful lifestyle together. And as a divine couple, you shall receive it. You do have to overlook some things you just have to ignore. People say things, you know, I think Benjamin Franklin, a founding father of the US used to have this, he coined a phrase about or a wisdom uh, that you should go into marriage with your eyes wide open and forever after half closed. And what was meant by that is you just can't take everything somebody says very seriously. So we see the energy as your outcome right now is both of you have gone inside. You know, you're, you're both doing soul searching. Virgo energy, the Eight of Swords is Gemini energy. You're really thinking through what's happened. You're both in this strong, I love Virgo energy for relationships because it says that you know how to, you figure out how to solve the problems. You figure out how to move forward 
forward beautifully, gracefully, with tenacity, with honesty, and, and really being grounded in this relationship. The two of you are beyond the ordinary, and I think that you know that. Let's go ahead and look at some more energy here, some more clarification of what is happening in your relationship at this time. So why, what else is, what can we know more about this death card spirit? Tell us more about this death and rebirth because we see that beautiful star in a very beautiful, passionate, hooded by a lot of desire on the part of both of you. Scorpio is ruled, rules sexuality. You have a very riveting relationship that is most likely very fulfilling for both of you. Sometimes you need to actually purge a little bit more often, have discussions, maybe, you know, once a week or once a month, sort of say, hey, let's just have like a little business meeting here. What do we need to look at? How, as partners, will you approach your future? And you're going to do it with great enthusiasm. It looks like you may be traveling in the near future also, or you've traveled in the recent past. Eight of coins, it's all two eights, powerful, powerful energy of, again, the highest level of stability that you can have. Getting to know each other much better than you already know each other and taking what you know about each other and learning to not be aggravated or offended by those annoying habits that, you know, we all have. Every single one of us has annoying habits. So it's really learning to have your eyes half closed when there's no reason to, um, you know, to have any angst. The devil card. Why is that here, spirit? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Aries queen. Aries, Aries, you are so compelling to your person. You're hot. You're sexy. In the energy and in the spirit of that energy, you also find your partner sexy devil, you know, somebody who may even be into a little, a little uh, edginess in the boudoir, but both of you are obsessed with each other. Look, you have the devil card twice and the devil is in the details. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of desire to sort of control one another, but that desire could be more readily and usefully used in smaller ways that would be much more romantic, if you will. Okay. So, we're going to leave that alone now. And what do we have? The Ace of Wands. Both of you want a lot of that. A lot of passion in this relationship. A lot of happiness. What is going on with this Five of Swords energy for you? Uh, somebody knows that they've hurt your feelings. They feel they owe you an apology. I feel as though this person is not an overly talkative person with this emperor energy. I feel as though instead of apologizing to you, they're going to do something nice. Their language of love it looks as though it involves gifts, reunions, events, but you probably will soon receive a bouquet of flowers or some other sentimental gift. Your person sees you as the one in their future. So Aries, we have that Three of Wands. That's Aries energy. It's your energy again. Why do we have the Six of Coins energy here for you, Aries? For what your person thinks about you. you they feel as though you like to party a lot, that, that maybe they aren't as much of a party animal as you are. And I say that tongue in cheek, you know. They just see you as a person who loves to celebrate life and that, that if they don't join you in that celebration, it kind of bores you. You know, but you're lively, Aries, you're fire. And here we go, the king of wands energy, Leo energy. Your person is gonna try to step up to the plate and offer a lot more in the way of passion, excitement, and fun. And we have the sun card, Leo energy. They view you as a person with whom they've been the happiest in relationship in their entire life. We see them wanting to let go of a cycle and have a new beginning. They don't want to make you feel defensive. They don't want to feel defensive. They very much want this to be a peaceful relationship in which the courage, the strength that you both exhibit in this relationship is rather refined. It's kind of quiet. It says, you know, no matter what the problems are, we'll figure them out as a team. 
when we look at the emperor energy why do we have aries why is this your energy sort of blanketing your partner your partner your partner is much more emotional than you are very interesting because aries is feisty and you're passionate but your person has probably some Scorpio energy here. We see someone who tries to keep very calm emotionally. The King of Cups energy is somebody who loves with all their heart. They love you with all their heart. They are, they, this is a person who appears calm on the surface, but they know how to manage themselves so that they don't get overly reactive. They try very hard to stay cool, calm, and balanced. They try to keep things fair. They try to think in very fair ways. They do, I, oh my gosh, this is delightful. Look at this energy. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, again, divine partnership. When things are balanced with this person, they feel just absolutely so lucky to have you. They do need that balance with you, though. The Four of Coins, why are you both holding back? Why are you both being so careful? Well, you're trying to nurture the old wounds. You're trying to show each other how reliable you are, how much you both want the relationship. There's a lot of really tender energy here for you, Aries. Look at that. We have the Empress card. That's divine. That's what Spirit is telling you. Stand in your beautiful Empress power. You know, your person knows that you are. Even though they don't really show you or speak about it a lot, your person recognizes your value. They recognize how sincere, how beautiful, how nurturing you are. They, they see your beauty. They want to have romance with you. So your person is going to be much more all in on romantic gestures and just being more relaxed in their connection. The, the uh, hermit card is clarified. You know, why is the hermit here? Why did both of you have to go to your own space? Why do you have to do this in the future as you work through things? You have to really look at what happened. When we have this, you know, this energy of the death card, both of you are taking time to review what happened and, and try to avoid it. That's what I'm seeing here. The Seven of Swords says that both of you are trying to sweep it under the rug. Both of you want to, you know, you've both done things that have hurt the other. And so we see both of you at this lovely crossroads, Two of Wands energy. So we have the Ace, the Two, the Three. Nice. We're only missing the Four of Wands right now, which is marriage. So we see at this time that both of you are going to try to be very independent thinkers. You're going to try to be, you know, the King of Swords is like surgical, engineering, only paying attention to the working parts, not getting caught up in anything other than balanced emotions. I see both of you are very emotional, but you're, you're, you are both very clear on the fact that you have to be careful with your words. Words can cut and that you, you're making the choice to be more intellectual and more cool, calm, and collected in this relationship. Cindy Love from Chicago sends them back. Tell me if you like the reading. And please, thumbs up, shares, likes, subscribes are so appreciated.